Hey there, my Virgos. Welcome. This is Renee. Um, let's take a look at your reading for this week. See what's coming forward for Virgo. Let's get into your message. Okay. Um, Spirit, give me a message for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo this week? Okay. So we have the uh, Knight of Wands. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. The Empress. Beautiful. We have the Ten of Cups. Okay, the Five of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom we have the Two of Cups energy. Mm, mm, mm. My beautiful Virgo, there's something that you're not expecting this week, you know, there's some kind of connection, there's some kind of love offer being made for you, right, this person is very attractive, this person may have just went through some kind of tower, or you just went through some kind of tower, there's some changes that had just happened with you, okay, um, but I feel like this person is very attractive. They're very appealing. They're, they're, they have this drive, this urge, this willpower, right? And I feel like there's some good news coming in for you. Some kind of news that you've been waiting for, okay? There's also some reason why, you know, you're releasing some energy. You're releasing something that you know no longer serves you. You're walking away from something. But I feel like you're walking away from it for a purpose. Because you have the Empress here at the bottom. You know, if we go this way, we're going from the Empress to the uh, Knight of Wands to the, the Four of Wands. So definitely beautiful energy for you. Right? With this Empress energy... I feel like something is happening. There can be something that you're creating. The the Empress, this could also be new money coming in. This could also be you coming in here. You could have walked away from a parent. You could have walked away from, you know, your child, you know, your child's parent, you know. Um you could have let that situation go. But I'm really feeling like this Empress card is good energy. I feel like she's bringing in abundance. She's bringing in something good, new wealth. You know? Um, a higher... I feel like you're raising your vibration when I see this Empress card. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups energy and the Knight of Wands to the seven, excuse me, to the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like you're actively moving. You, if you notice, you're moving this way. You're moving towards, you know, something long term that you have. You're moving towards something that you're letting go of. You know, cause, so. If this is someone that you were in a relationship with, I feel like you're letting this person go. You're releasing that energy. You're releasing something as far as this person goes. And this was long-term energy. So this is something that has been in, in your life for a while. Maybe it has a lot of sentimental value. But I feel like you're letting it go. You're passing it on. You could be giving it to someone else. Right? And, but I do feel like it's leaving you in a little distress. You know, it's making you feel hmm, a little unsettled, especially with this Five of Pentacles energy.
Yeah, with this Five of Pentacles energy, I feel like you kind of feel like you've lost something. Like, you're, you know, something is being left behind that you really didn't want to let go of. But for some reason or another, you felt the need to release this energy. Okay, we have the Four of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like whatever you're letting go of, I feel like you're finally coming to terms with that energy. You're finally coming to terms with whatever this energy is. And now you're protecting your energy, but you're also building yourself up. You're building up, you know, something for long term. There's something that you're wanting to grow. You're planting seeds. Okay, it could be some kind of business opportunity, some kind of hard work that you're doing to maintain your stability. Okay, that's what I'm getting. This Four of Wands energy, this could be something about your home, something about family, community. Uh, could also have to do with marriage, with the Four of Wands energy. Some kind of reunion, maybe. Take it how it resonates. Let's see. I'm gonna clarify a few of these cards because some of these cards just don't want to fit really well. Tell me about this Eight of Cups energy. What is Virgo leaving behind? What energy is Virgo releasing? Give me a message. Of course, so many cards want to fall out. Okay, let's try this again. Give me a message for the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Give me a message for the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Cups. So you're moving from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So you're moving into your fulfillment. You know, you're releasing some kind of energy because you're moving forward. You know, that that's what this is. This is good news that is pushing you from a time of anxiety to a time of being fulfilled. That's why we see the Empress here at the bottom. So you're moving into a better energy. You, you know, there's a lot of improvement for you here. Right? That's the reason why we have this Ten of Cups, Four of Cups. You're moving into a better position. You could be literally moving, right? Moving from that Eight of Cups energy to the Nine of Cups, something that's more improved, something that's better, some kind of wish being fulfilled for you. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Give me a message, Spirit. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Tower. Yeah, like I said, I said that you, you may have just went through a Tower moment. So I feel like you're still feeling those effects of whatever this tower was, whatever it was that collapsed, is still feeling kind of raw at times, right? It's still feeling like something may be taken away at any point. That's the reason why you're protecting your energy with this four of pentacles, you know? But I feel like good things are happening to you, but you're wet, you're waiting for that other shoe to drop. You're like still protecting yourself. But you're, you're trying to see things grow. You're still planting seeds on what you see yourself being at. Right? Give me a message. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Give me a message. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? And I'm going to end up double clarifying these. So bear with me. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, the world. Yeah, you, you're 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 going through these cycles. You know, there's some kind of completion. Completion. Oh, forgive me. There's some kind of accomplishment that you have here. Okay, some kind of achievement. 
you're going through your cycle. There's something that ended so that something new can begin. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Give me a message. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Double Queens. Double Queens popping out for the Seven of Pentacles. So what you're growing... What you're growing, my beautiful Virgo, is love and stability, okay? These two queens together could be seen as very nurturing, very stable energy, you know? Um, what you're growing is, and this could be your energy, you could be becoming a more loving, more caring, more stable person after going through this tower moment maybe you have just left a lot of struggle okay maybe there was a lot of struggle in your life and now you're becoming more stable you're becoming more calm more patient more loving more caring more kind right because now since you've gone through this tower now you're able to kind of build yourself back up with this empress energy Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Give me a message for the um, Page of Pentacles. Give me a message for the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? What is this good news that Virgo will be receiving? Give me a message. What is this good news that Virgo will be receiving? The King of Swords. Okay, yeah, there's some, some kind of information that you've been waiting on. We have the Queen of Pentacles in, um, on the bottom. And the Ace of Cups. Wow, the Ten of Cups. The Two of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. Wow, there's a, there's a huge increase coming in for you. And I feel like this is breakthrough energy. You know, this is you being very disciplined. You're actually seeing the truth in something. The truth has been revealed to you in a certain situation. And now that's bringing you a lot more clarity. Okay. Um, hmm. Wow. Why is the, the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups here? Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups here? Give me a message for Virgo. Why is the Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups here? Yeah, the ten of, ten of Wands. Something's definitely completing for you. You're letting down your burdens. This is the after tarot. So he's now let down his burdens. He's done released that energy that makes it so he's not carrying so many burdens. He's, he's only carrying what he knows he can handle. And I feel like that's what you're doing because you're, you're trying to be more happy. So you're only going to take on what you know that you can handle. Virgo, you're no longer going to take on more than you can satisfy, right? Because you're worried about your rest and your restoration. You know, you're focused on yourself. You're focused on your, your, your stability, on your personal, on your personal well-being. So you could be going through a time of renewal of spending more time with yourself. Why is the Empress here? Give me a message. Why is the Empress here? The moon. You made a lot of changes. You could have made a lot of changes on yourself. You could be studying. But I also feel like this is Putting more trust in your own abilities. I feel like things are becoming more clear because you're trusting that your own abilities are going to be enough. Okay. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. I've seen the lovers in there too. Yeah. Okay. 
Give me a message for the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Give me a message for the Ten of Cups, please. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay, wow. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Yes, yeah, so you're moving from struggle. You're moving from struggle into a better position. Look at this. We're going, okay, we have the Ten of Cups, Seven of, uh, seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. You're transitioning, okay? You're moving past things. There's some things that may have hurt you that you're letting go of. You're releasing them. You're shooting them into the universe. You're like, bye. Let's go. You know, you're taking action to make things better. Whatever you're doing, you're making things better in your situation because you're taking action. Um, also because there could be some kind of communication that's bringing you more uplifting messages as well. So you could be using meditation or some other kind of affirmations in order to increase your vibrations. Okay? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Give me a message. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay, yeah, the judgment in the world. Look at this. We have the world right next to the world. Yeah, so, so something is bet something is getting better. Your situation is becoming better. For some of you, this is a second chance to make something that you thought was complete better. Okay? But with the judgment card here, this is a big improvement. You know, something that ended, something that's now beginning, is going to be more, more improved, more better than before. We have the King of Cups at the bottom. It could be love. And the Nine of Cups could be love. You know, uh, Justice card. Definitely something becoming more balanced. A right has been made. Uh, a wrong has been made right. Right? Something that was unfair is now coming into karma. Okay? The Two of Cups, love. Yeah, the full new beginning. Definitely. Okay, so I'm feeling it, Virgo. Give me a message. Why is the tower here? Give me a message. Why is the tower here? Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, this tower could have happened with some kind of long-term relationship. Or it could have happened with a long-term friendship. Or with your investments. <clears throat> so you may have lost something that was of great value to you. Okay? Tell me why the Four of Wands is here. Give me a message. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Queen of Swords. Things are becoming clear. You're getting a better understanding. You're getting a better understanding of your situation. Tell me about the world. Give me a message for the Four of Pentacles in the world. You actually have the world twice, the Four of Pentacles twice. Um... Yeah, that's it. So the world twice, the four of pentacles twice. So something that's ending is creating more value. And my voice is getting much worse. Okay. Yeah, for the world card, we have the chariot. So you're definitely being propelled forward, right? There's something ending, but you're being pushed into something more... Um, a new journey. Wow. This is divinely guided. You know, you're you're being divinely guided into your situation. Tell me about this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Give me a message. Why is this Queen of Cups, Queen of, Queen of Pentacles here? The Eight of Cups. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. 
Yeah, so we have the Eight of Cups twice, too. At the bottom, we have the Strength. Okay. Hmm. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Okay, you're building some kind of stability. Some kind of healing. And using your resources. And the Eight of Cups. This is something that you're moving on with. You're moving forward with this. With this energy. This is also moving away from something that's negative and going into something that's more positive. You know, something that you're moving away from. Something that you withdrew your energy. Okay? And with this chariot right above it, I feel like you know you're moving forward there's some kind of actions and changes that you're taking I feel like you're trusting you're trusting where you're being led with the strength card okay you're having a lot of strength in your situation Queen of Wands energy the two of wands yeah, you're planning to you're planning to take even more action. You're planning on making even more changes. Okay? And if this isn't you planning, I feel like this is the the universe planning these for you. Because something's being divinely guided when it comes to your situation, Virgo. Okay, let's get an angel number. But I feel like all the answers are going to become more clear. You're going to see where the universe is sending you. You know, which direction. Because I feel like that direction is going to propel you into something new. Okay? Okay, yeah, what did I tell you? Transformation. 1919, Transformation. It is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to new beginnings. Okay, your affirmation. I release what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to the transformative energy of the divine. Yeah, that's what the Eight of Cups energy is. That's something that you no longer need to carry. That's something that... You know, you're going to be releasing because it, you feel like it no longer serves you. Because your purposes are being transformed. You know, things are going to become more clear for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your fortune oracle. What do we have for Virgo? Okay, this card here. Which card is turned over? There we go. The star. Okay, hard times are over. Look forward to the abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So you have the star, the number 29. Okay? That reduces down to 11, which reduces down to 2. The number 29. Okay, the star. You may have recently faced difficult times. Yeah, like I said, the tower moment. Okay, and felt uninspired and hopeless. You may have suffered 
from unrealistic dreams or goals or feelings of jealousy. You may have been battling negativity and feelings of revenge or hate towards someone. This card shows that you have endured many of life's challenges. The good news is that um, the future will be filled with more hope, optimism, and enthusiasm. You will have a fresh perspective on life. In relationships, much healing has taken place spiritually and you have forgiven yourself for any negative feelings from the past. You're feeling so energized that the brand new you is sparkling like a diamond in the sky. Your aura is electric and attracts what you want easily. Families will feel more harmoni har harmonious and peaceful. Existences are welcomed. Okay? With long standing arguments, I'm not wearing my glasses, so please forgive me. With long standing arguments, a thing of the past. Wishes may come true regarding personal relationships. You will attract positive opportunities in love, maybe even a new life partner or loyal friendship, which is your heart's desire. Okay, in money, this card shines on your career and finances more than the other in the pack. And there will be satisfying satisfying pats on the back for jobs well done and many rewards and celebrations you will feel proud about the achievement in the near future and will be a cause for celebration and money gains your self-esteem remains big time as you attract offers thick and fast hmm. Moving up the career ladder at a furious pace is exhausting but thrilling. You're heavily in demand. Your power tip. Leave a gold money box containing gold coins on the left side of a desk and near the telephone for wealth and success. Purchase either a red or bling mobile phone cover to bring good news. Okay, so that is your fortune oracle. So my beautiful Virgo, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.